Greetings, I'm Rob Chappas and welcome to my car. Today is Friday. <clears throat> Traditionally on a Friday I would have a juicy, wondrous upload for you. But today, uh, well actually this week has been utter bedlam. And uh, instead I thought I'd just fill you in on a bunch of bits and bobs that have been happening with me. Uh, new things, cool things, difficult stuff. Give you the ups and downs and um, just let you know what's been going on. I should probably call this what's been going on in Chappers week or life or something like that, I don't know. Is this angle flattering? Probably be better if I was slightly lower or this phone was slightly higher. Doesn't really matter, does it? So, um, <clears throat> I had my uh, 5G update. I'm gradually being uploaded to the cloud injection um, a few days back, AstraZeneca. And I highly recommend everyone get it. It's the right thing to do. But man, <laughs> I had flu for about two days. Uh, and I mean flu, I don't mean a cold. I mean shakes, fever, chills, pains. Um, if someone had dropped a 50 quid note on the floor, I wouldn't have wanted to pick it up. It was bad. And uh, <clears throat> it knocked me out for um, a full on sort of 48 hours. But now I feel about 80% recovered and I am, I'm kind of back behind the wheel, um, preparing stuff and getting ready for work. Theo had a couple of teeth pulled out, poor boy. But he was an absolute superhero, but that was, um, that was mildly harrowing for us. And um, so that's just the difficult things we've had to deal with. But then the good stuff is that I have finished writing the rest of the album for Clockwork Wolf and Company. So we've got another single to come before the EP, um, which is called Live Your Fate. And you, uh, absolutely loads of you are going to know this track from the riff that I have had for, <laughs> I mean, maybe 15 years. It's the one that goes down, if you know that. Um, you will know this has been sat waiting to be used for a long, long time. I did use it many years ago in a previous project, but it never really saw anything because social media didn't really exist then, um, especially not for me. And the band disformed and since I'd written it. I am reusing it so that it can see the light of day. I'm really proud of the track. It's... Um, it's hard to sing and it really it stretched me and at the end there is this demonic vampire dark choir of voices uh, from my wife who stacks up these filthy chords um, of like dissonance and array and, it, and it's it's chaotic and beautiful and it, it's one of my favorite parts on this EP is this this filthy outro section that she's she's made. I basically went, here's a section, fill it with just ridiculous vocal. So she delivered the vocal, as is often the way with Natasha. So look forward to that. A bit of uh, me and the wife talking of me and the wife. Um, the music video for this track, which will hopefully be filmed over the next few weeks and then released. Um, month is gonna be uh, me and Nat since the whole end section is her uh, I figured we should both be in it um, and I'm hoping to finish writing this <laughs> because we can't have a band in the video because of COVID <clears throat> it just doesn't work so I need a narrative so I came up with uh, the concept of uh, vampire bank robbers I'm just going to leave it like that. That's that's my concept anyway. I might, I might change my mind, but I don't think so. Uh, so it should be fun. It should be really fun. We're going to be driving a ridiculous car and hooning around being an idiot, as is often the way after you, sir. You were a lady. I'm sorry, but thank you for going. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the next thing to do with music is that I'm excited to say that Gus and I kicked ourselves <clears throat> into gear a bit more with Criterion 
and we uh, employed the phenomenal strengths of my friend Chris Hardwick, drummer at Clockwork Wolf and Company. Uh, he drums for lots of projects, by the way. He's a serious, serious top level session pro, uh, a bit like my friend Carl Hughes. And uh, Chris has laid down the drums for Criterion for the three tracks that we are releasing Infinitum, Poseidon, and Kingdom of Pain. And he did such a good job. <laughs> God, we were um, WhatsApping <clears throat> together, three of us plus Mark um, at the studio, listening. They've got this cool live link thing where you can listen live to the feed from the studio. So we were listening to his parts and then making suggestions. And so easy working with Chris because he's a, he's a great guitar player as well. And he loves traditional old school rock and metal that when we would say, what about you do like a brak da 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 you go, oh yeah, sure, let me just go do that now. And then you'd do it and, and then you'd listen to it. He's fast. I love working with people that know things that are fast. It's such a pleasurable, creative process. And then listening back, I was like, oh man, I'm singing really high in some of these tunes. <laughs> it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be interesting doing it live. And when you hear the solos, <clears throat> like Gus said to me, Chapras, man, you got to put down some lead. I'm like, no. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> no, I'm going to bam Gus G. I'm not going to put lead down. I mean, I've done a couple of little fills and things. Maybe I'll do one. But when you hear, it's just amazing. Imagine, it's like Gus and I are friends. <clears throat> known each other for years and years and years and years. We started writing because we're like, why haven't we written together? And then when he wrote the solo and sent it through, I was like, oh, there's the solo. Oh, that's the solo. I'm gonna ban my Gus G. <laughs> it's just, it's phenomenal the way he flows through these chromaticisms and these beautifully, beautifully clean played melodic sections and then rips into some of the filthiest riffing I've heard from Gus in years. And this is what I love about Criterion. I'm gonna say something that might upset a few people or, or excite a few people, but it's kind of carrying a torch from where Dorje was a little bit. It's riff worship. It's cut from some of the same cloth and it's uh, every track opens with a killer riff and I'm really enjoying playing that style of music again. And so I really hope that you like it, Criterion. It's uh, three tracks. I don't know whether we're going to release them as just singles or an EP, and it may just be this three-track thing, who knows? I mean, um, if no one likes it, no one watches it, nothing's going to happen. But if people like it, then it will continue, and maybe we'll do it live and everything, and that'll be fun. God help me if that's the case, because it's a three-piece. <clears throat> so uh, the bass was played by Gus. <laughs> so we just bought the bass through the PA, two of us and a drummer. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Criterion's kicking off. It's very exciting. I'm already thinking about the gear that I'm going to be using um, to track the guitars. Um, I have officially uh, separated Party Boys with Victory. Completely amicably, we just kind of come to the end of our relationship and I wanted to see other people. Does that sound right? It doesn't sound right, but it's what it is. Um, and actually, I have a new relationship. Um, and we're in love. Uh, it's not me, it's you. I don't know, it's not you, it's me. Uh, with Bad Cat amplifiers. Bad Cat, by the way, I actually separated from Victory months and months ago and, and uh, already mentioned it. This isn't, this isn't new news, but just in case you didn't know. <clears throat> I will, of course, sometimes still use the Victory amps. I love them, they make fantastic products. But for me, Bad Cat is another level of boutique ridiculousness and they sound so beautiful um, and they make an app called the hot cat i already have a, a, a cub um, anyway they're sending me a bunch of amps and one of them is a hot cat and i think it's going to be absolutely perfect for criterion and other things i'm doing 
So that's exciting. Probably gonna use one of the new Pro Moderns, maybe the new ML2 Pro Modern that's coming out for tracking some of the rhythm sections. That might be fun because it's a really great looking guitar that none of you have seen yet. But you will soon, I promise you. It's very exciting. It's all curvy and beautiful and ergonomic. It'll fit to your body if you've got a nice buxom dad bod like I have. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> Clockwork, Criterion, AstraZeneca update. Um, I feel like I'm back on the planet again. And I'm preparing to film. <clears throat> I've been on YouTube 15 years this November. Chapman Guitars is 10 years old as of last, um, 11 years old as of last year. A lot of, of big dates and numbers have, have passed. I think I've, I've almost hit uh, 300 million views on YouTube. I might have made that number up. Maybe it's 30. I don't know. There's, it's quite a lot of views. I kind of feel like I need to, sorry about that, celebrate that, or at least just, just reflect on it. So I'm making some videos <clears throat> with my dad um, about 10 years of Chapman, 15 years of, of YouTube, because my father's a guitarist. I'm also gonna make some videos with my mum. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so you're gonna be seeing some Rob and his dad react to videos from <clears throat> videos from 15 years ago. That kind of thing. It's going to be interesting. All of the hairstyles will always change all the time, perpetually, without fail. <clears throat> so, yeah, I wish my poor dad luck because he's flying to Malta right now to uh, shoot these videos with me. And um, at great expense, it's going to boil because it's currently in the upper 20s. But that's fine, <clears throat> he'll get used to it. Anyway, I'm almost home, it's been good to chat. Please hit the subscribe button, smash the bell, punch the like, comment anything at all, because it's all useful for the greater good of the algorithm of whom we serve. Love you guys, stay healthy. It's okay not to feel okay. See you later, Chat us out.